Welcome to another Steve's and Sons installation video. Today we will be installing interior bifold doors. If you're ready, grab your tools and let's get started. Your box should contain one hardware bag, one track, and one bifold door unit. If you are missing any parts, do not return the door to the home center. Please contact Steve's Customer Service for assistance weekdays 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Before we get started, make sure you have the following tools. A drill with bits, a hammer, a pencil, tape measure, screwdriver, and safety glasses. First, you need to measure the height and width of your bifold door to make sure it will fit in the opening. The height of the opening must be one and one half inches taller than the height of the door. The width of the opening must be one half inch larger than the bifold door unit. If the door is larger than the opening, it cannot be installed. Insert the top pivots into the pre-drilled holes in the top of both door panels. Then insert the bottom pivot into the pre-drilled hole at the bottom edge of the pivot door panel on the jam side of the opening. Now, mark a center line on the head jam and on the pivot jam at the bottom where the jam bracket will be installed. Fasten the track at the top of the opening along the center line of the header using the long screws provided. If installing two sets of bifold door units, use the track joiner included in the hardware bag to join both tracks together. Fasten the jam bracket in line with the track on the pivot jam side of the opening. Make sure the base of the bracket rests firmly on the floor. If you are using the additional slide guide, snap it into the middle of the track. Now you're ready to install the door panels. Insert the top pivot at the pivoting side of the door into the top track bracket. With the top pivot inserted, lift upward on the panels and position the bottom pivot into the jam bracket on the floor. Let the bottom pivot sit on the jam bracket firmly with the knurled teeth engaged. Depress the guide pivot on top of the outer pane. Position it under the track and release so the guide pivot is securely positioned in the track or the optional slide guide. You can adjust the door height by slightly lifting the panels and turning the threaded stem of the bottom pivot. Then, seat the pivot in the jam bracket at the desired height. If necessary, adjust the rack bracket in the top track by loosening the bracket screw. Slide the bracket within the track. Make sure to tighten the screw at your desired location. You can adjust the door horizontally by altering the position of the bottom pivot in the jam bracket. Lift the door slightly and move the bottom pivot in either direction as necessary to bring the door plumb with the opening. Make sure the guide pivot does not disengage when you move the door and the door's edge doesn't rub the jam. Now, mount the knob at the center of the guide door, about 36 inches from the floor. If you purchase two bifold door sets, repeat steps one through five to install the additional two-panel set. When installing two bifold sets, mount the aligners on the back side of the guide door approximately 12 inches from the floor. Finally, insert the snugger into the track at the guide door side of the opening. If you have additional questions, please contact our customer service department for assistance. Thank you for choosing your new interior bifold door from Steve's and Sons.